Very funny lady that I love to watch her do karaoke down at XYZ. Give it up for Brandy Augustus. You know, like sometimes like I'll have random thoughts. Like I'm a big girl, I've been a big girl my whole life. And I'm like, no matter what I've done to try and lose weight, dieting, exercising, whatever, the shit just won't come off. I've been this size since I was 12, okay? You know, there's a lot to deal with. So I was like, just thinking one day and I'm like, you know what? If I did crack for three months, <laughs> you know, and really like kickstart this weight loss, you know, and I'm not saying I wanna be a crackhead my whole life, I just wanna be crackhead thin. You know? Like, have y'all ever seen a fat crackhead? No, never in your life, fat cokehead, yes. Crackheads, no, they don't exist. Y'all don't understand like how hard it is being fat. Like, y'all know what my biggest nemesis is? Chairs. <laughs> You're laughing. I broke a chair in high school one day in computer lab. <laughs> they never let me live that shit down. It was one of those plastic chairs with the metal legs, but apparently if you put too much weight on the motherfuckers, you'll bend back. <laughs> Fail, hit my head. I ain't been the same ever since then. So every time, every time I see a chair, I treat it like men. It's like, Every chair until it's no chair. <laughs> oh man, the only place that I've ever felt safe being fat is Dollywood. <laughs> what y'all skinny motherfuckers might not know is that our patron saint of Appalachia, Dolly Parton, gives a fuck about fat bitches like me <laughs> and has made plus size seating on the rides. I am that fat. <laughs> I'm that fat that I gotta look for the red 13 at fucking Wild Thunder or whatever it is, like, you know? But it's okay. I just appreciate it being inclusionary, okay? But just because I'm fat, that don't mean I don't get dick, okay? <laughs> Not saying I want the dick all the time, but y'all. <laughs> Men just be throwing that shit out like they ain't got HPV. <laughs> sex with a man. It was actually in the back parking lot of Central Cinema. I knew y'all was gonna like that. Nasty motherfuckers. <laughs> no, but it was like, so we came here to see some like old school family. He was an older dude or whatever. And I'm like, I appeased him. I liked doing anything that I could as long as he wouldn't talk to me. You know, so it was like a lot of movies, a lot of concerts and shit. So we, we're in here drunk off motherfucking PBRs, um, and he like start rubbing on my thigh, and I was like, ooh, don't do that. <laughs> it don't take much for me to get going, honestly. But you, you've been looking at me real hardy, and I'm just like, <laughs> it just might happen, just saying, just saying. But yeah, so it's like, the movie ends, we go in the back. 
where I have a pathfinder, okay? So don't think that I'm trying to do all this in a juke or some <laughs> shit. <juke. laughs> so we climb in the back seat of my pathfinder and we're trying to get into it, but he like he like I said, he's an older dude, so he wear boat boat shoes all the time, like fucking spurries and shit without socks. <laughs> so he like, you know, his feet kept slipping. He couldn't ain't got no grips on the bottom. So he takes off his shoes. And like I said, the motherfucker don't wear socks, so immediately the mood changes. And the car just fills with what smells like old boiled cabbage. And so like I knew I was gonna do anyway. I faked it. So we could end it. And I was just like, I don't that was the last time I talked to him, and that was the last time that I had sex with the man. Because I'm just like, y'all don't can't take care of yourselves enough for me to be putting myself in danger like that. Nauseous. Y'all, I have no idea how his wife puts up with that shit. <laughs> That's my time. I'm Brandy Augustus, y'all. auditorium seat in high school. Well, junior high. I broke one just like that. I was a very chubby junior high.